We ain't like kings. We were kings. We still are. Ladies and gentlemen. So Alan Arkin, Morgan Freeman, and Michael Caine are three elderly gentlemen, and they are tired of the BS and want to go out in style. My name is Brendan Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. So I remember when I first saw the trailer for this movie, I got really excited. I love the cast. Um, I'm a big fan of Michael Caine. I'm a big fan of Morgan Freeman. Not so much Alan Arkin. And a film like this would only work if you have chemistry between the three main leads. And I really did feel that way when I was watching the movie. And I can also see them being friends in real life or even, you know, between takes. If when the director says cut, I would not be surprised if a photo leaked and these guys are off to the side together goofing off or probably hang out in real life. I mean, it's just that believable. And this movie wouldn't have worked at all unless you have that chemistry and it was there on screen. The title of the film couldn't have been any better. It really gives true definition to going in style because that's how these guys, they want to go out and it, it just makes sense and it fits. I really liked how each character had to sit back and make a conscious decision. Okay, like, can we really do this? Does this make sense? What will be the consequences and repercussions? I mean, how is this going to go down? How are we going to pop it off? And while everything was playing out, I was saying to myself, okay, this is funny, and but it's extremely elementary. But there were a few twists and turns towards the end that, you know, makes this movie worth your time. And like I said, these three guys are great as a group, but they're also funny and have their own lives going on individually. One of them is sick. Uh, one of them is trying to be the best grandfather that he can possibly be. And another guy just wants to be left the hell alone, but he always has a woman in his ear trying to give him the business. And it was just funny. And it just also gives another great example as to how the older you get, the less you give a crap. I mean, these they're old. They're, old. they're elders. They don't give a crap what you think about them, what you say about them. They just don't care. And they literally have nothing to lose which makes this plot of the film that much better. It doesn't contain a lot of jokes. These are just natural moments. I mean, I can really imagine that the director just said, okay, you know, action. And there was no script or dialogue. It was just these three, you know, joking around with each other in front of the camera ad libbing, just being themselves. And that's funny. You don't need to write jokes for things like this. Just let things play out. And a lot of times when old people are honest, it's funny. And that's what brought all the last forth in this movie is, you know, just them being themselves, being funny and natural. And just also the thought of three older gentlemen in their 70s and 80s trying to rob a bank. They have great montages of how they're trying to train and do this. And it, the whole thing is just hilarious of the precautions that they're taking and the steps that they have to get in order to rob this bank. I mean, it just it, it makes for a great time that's hilarious. And I just find it impossible not to laugh when you're watching this. And this is a comedy before everything else. So there are some things that you may kind of turn your head like, OK, that would not happen in a real life situation, in a real life bank robbery. But this is a comedy. And for the most part, you don't care. And it kind of plays out how any how it really would in the real world if three guys were to try to rob a bank. I also said towards the end that there are some twists and turns that came out of nowhere that does bring a nice surprise and tie everything together like a nice little bow. And if I had to rate going in style out of a 1 out of 10, I would happily give this an 8 out of 10. Yes, an 8 out of 10. So guys, have you seen going in style? Do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're here on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get all the content that I have to provide. And you can also go to my website or hit me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all that good stuff. But guys, thank you again for tuning in for my review slash opinion on going in style and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion peace